1996, you could hear hearts breaking all across America. That is the day that John Kennedy Jr. married Carolyn Bissett on an island off the Georgia coast. It also happens to be my birthday. But that's not why hearts are breaking. Never fear, ladies, because today we are going to have some men in the house. That's right. Right here in our Manhattan studio, which is an island off the New Jersey coast. Now, I'm going to introduce you to some of America's most eligible bach bachelors. Take a look. They are arriving at our studio right now. There they are. We have lean, muscular, and available men who will dance, entertain, and titillate you into a frenzy. So stay right where you are and get ready to pick your favorite bachelor. Just because John F.K. Jr. is taken, don't feel forsaken. Today, I'm going to help you find America's new bachelor hunk. Anyway, do you think he's the only hunk in America? Well, in just a few moments, our studio will be filled with some of America's most desirable and exquisite bachelors you have ever seen in one room. Some are buff, some are lean, some are rich, smart, and talented. All kinds of men! They're single and attainable and will be competing for an amazing grand prize vacation. But that is not all. Take a look at this guy. That guy over there is Eddie Sibrian from Baywatch Nights! to see you. He is backstage with our contestants and he'll give us the inside look at all the excitement backstage. Thank you for being here, Eddie. Have fun. Thank you. And coming up later in the show, we have the amazing Puff Johnson performing one of her chart-climbing hits. Now, no competition is complete without judges and we have four great judges at our table today. Our first judge won the Cable Ace Award for her role on HBO's Cosmic Slop. She had a recurring role on TV's The Wayne Brothers and can be seen right now in Spike Lee's Get on the Bus. Welcome Paula J. Parker. Thank you for being here, Paula. Our second judge is from Hedonism 2, the Caribbean's own super inclusive resort, where the theme is, if it will shock your mother, it's included. Meet Michelle Faithy. You'll remember judge number three from her smash pop hit, Girls' Night Out. She is currently writing music for an upcoming album and is Miss October in the 1997 Unforgettable Calendar. Welcome singer Tyler Collins. <laughs> and last but not least, our last judge is the creator of the new Leading Men of Hollywood Calendar, which features some of LA's most promising and most handsome fresh talent. Welcome Eve Sharon. All right, check it out. Thank you. I'll just tuck this thing under my arm. All right, guys, are you ladies ready? All right, let's start. Let's meet our single guys who are looking for their crown. Okay, we're going to start with Mr. Baltimore, Maryland, where he watches us on WBFF Channel 45. Come on out here, Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland, the city that reads, if you think you like me now, wait till you see me in my boxers. It's nice to be in uh, New York with you lovely ladies.
How are you ladies? I'm Jack, I'm from Boston, and I need one sexy lady to sex me all night long. Senoritas, my name is Alejandro. I am from Miami, Florida, where the days are hot and the nights are hotter. All right. Next, we have a local boy from Mr. West Orange, New Jersey. He watches us here on WWOR Channel 9. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. New Jersey, where are you? Quincy, I'm from West Orange, New Jersey, and I do anything necessary to please a woman. And I'm from Manhattan, I'm the bomb of New York. Thank you. All right, next we have Mr. Modesto, California, where he watches us on KOVR Channel 13. Hi, I'm David Johnson from the heart of the valley. Now I'm here to share my heart with you. Thank you very much. San Francisco, California, where he watches us on KGO Channel 7. San Francisco, come on out! My name is Cap, I'm from San Francisco, and I would love to find a nice lady that can show me around this beautiful city. Illinois, how about a double date with us? California and uh, I know women have many needs and I think I, could, I think I could be one of them. My name is Greg, and I'm deep in your heart from Texas. Thank you! Oh, and next we have Mr. Cincinnati, Ohio. He watches us on WSTR, Channel 64. Hi, my name is Chris Lingen. I believe women are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. It's sure to be nice and sweet. Michigan, I'm looking for a warm, cozy, sensitive lady tonight.
Texas and WTVG Channel 13. Ohio, get your butt out here. I'm Rod from Defiance, Ohio, and I want to find a lovely young lady to show how it's done in the Midwest. some beautiful ladies here today. I am from Birmingham, Alabama. My name is John McQuay. I can give you southern hospitality, southern charm, and a southern heart to go with each and every one of you. Woo! And I apologize. I only have one rose, but I give you all my love. Thank you. God bless. gets better who can ever forget the cover of people magazine showing a shirtless john kennedy well when we return we'll have something you'll never forget as some of our guests rip their shirts off and dance for us it's hump beefcake that you won't want to miss stay tuned Are you so fed up with your boyfriend or girlfriend that you don't even want to take them home for the holidays? If you want to tell them the holidays may be coming, but you're going because I'm dumping you, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. all across America to find a sexy bachelor to replace a now married, now unavailable John Kennedy Jr. Today I am doing my part to help. Now you've met the men, now let's see how a few of them move. We're going to give each contestant 20 seconds to shake it and bake it. Let's bring in our first bachelor contestant, Sharif, come on out here.
talking with our Baywatch night star, Eddie Sibrian, backstage, and hear what's going on. What's the scoop back there, Eddie? Uh, well, Ricky, let me tell you, there is a lot of tension back here. I mean, these guys really want to win. So right now I'm going to be taking a little bribe, uh, trying to make some money for dinner tonight, although I have no outcome. What, no, what, it doesn't really... Why aren't you a contestant, Eddie? Um, you know why? Uh... <laughs> Because I'm taken. You're and I taken. Be a oh. yeah, so I guess that wouldn't work. Fair enough. All right, we'll check back with you later. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. While John Kennedy was at Brown University as a theater student, he displayed some promising talent. When we return, our men compete for the most talented hunk. And later, we're going to get to the bare essentials as our men strut their stuff in their boxers. <laughs> Woo! Don't go away. show we have recording artist Puff Johnson and she will entertain us as she performs her latest chart climbing single. And speaking of entertainment, did you guys know that John Kennedy was a theater major when he attended Brown University? Well, keeping up with that theme, we asked five of today's hunks to show us some of their secret talents. So they brought drums to floor mats to tennis balls. We're going to start with Terrence. Terrence, come on out and show us your talent. Here he is. Get good, Terrence. Woo! What a talent! And he looked so good doing that. All right, next we have da David. David, come on out. Show us your talent.
check in with Eddie and see what's going on backstage. Hey, Eddie, what's up? Well, um, I'm feeling a little weird. Some of these guys are, like, stripping down into their boxers. Um, and, and I don't really know what to do, but uh, we're going to find out next if these guys can stimulate you with their intellect. Really? We're All right, I'm looking forward to it. Brawn. Great. Thanks, Eddie. When we return, it's brains or brawn. Can our hunky bachelors answer simple questions, or will they have to remove an article of clothing? Hmm. We'll have to find out next. Stay with us. Are you so fed up with your boyfriend or girlfriend that you don't even want to take them home for the holidays? If you want to tell them the holidays may be coming, but you're going because I'm dumping you, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. My guests say that they want to replace the now married John Kennedy Jr. as America's sexiest available hunk. Besides being eye candy to look at, John Kennedy was a talented actor while in college and after finally passing the bar, he proved to the world that he was brainy too. Is it possible for a man to have both brains and brawn? Yeah. Well today we're putting our five remaining bachelors to the test. All right, we have Greg, Chris, Gary, Rod, and John. Hi, boys. I'm gonna, here's the deal. We're gonna have fun, all right? I'm gonna ask you five different questions, if there's time allotted. And uh, you, if you get the question right, you can breathe a sigh of relief. If you get the question wrong, you have to re remove one article of clothing. Okay? Fair enough? All right. The first question is, you have the body, the talent, and the looks of a movie star. Spell the name of my favorite star, Schwarzenegger. Okay, let's see it. Greg? Wait. <laughs> Gary? Oh, uh, no. Rod? Uh, I am finally John. Uh, the correct spelling is S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-E-N-E-G-G-E-R. All right. Next question. So, so far, you're not, you guys aren't doing so hot. All right. Men who are built like Greek gods. What is the capital of the state of Washington? Come on, guys. State of Washington is. Time's up, boys. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 
commercial break. Shoot! All right. <laughs> so next is, I guess, going to be the boxer competition. Hey, Eddie, yeah. why don't you, I know you're feeling left out. Why don't you start taking it off? <laughs> I, I don't want to embarrass these guys. Okay, all right. Thanks, Eddie. You guys, you judges are, are keeping tabs. Yeah, none of them. No? You, but you're figuring out. You, you're coming up with your favorites, right? Okay, you need to see a lot more. Well, guess what? Later in the show, a live performance by songstress Puff Johnson. But when we come back, it's all of our men stripped down to their gap boxers for our final look. Yay! I'm consulting with the judges right now. You, you, well, secret. Uh, it's a secret, okay. No, 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 no. Just when you thought things couldn't get any hotter around here, well, it is time to start sweating, gang. You seem dancing, talent, and brains, but are you ready for this? Yeah. It is time for our version of a swimsuit competition. It is a Gap Boxer Shorts fashion show. That's right, ladies. Every one of our contestants has stripped right down to his Gap Boxers. And they are also ready to tell us why they think they should be America's newest available hunk. Are we ready? Yeah. Sharif, come on out. <laughs> I think I should win this contest today because of my looks, my charm, and my Kennedy smile. Next is Dana! Dana! I think I should be today's winner because I'm a nice guy and when it comes to business, I take care of things. Because I have the Kennedy hair, I have the Kennedy charisma, I have everything it takes to be the new bachelor hair. Alejandro! I think I should win this contest because I have three terrific qualities to take Kennedy's place in America's heart. You have the brain, the money, and the looks. I should take John Kennedy's place because I'm sensitive, passionate, and understanding. And the big time passes in New Jersey. Woo! Oh, Terrence! 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 I see him today because I'm nice and I'm going on a really sweet guy. John Don is gone, gone. I can make any heartbeat louder than any man in America. That's why I should win this competition. Move over, Junior. I'm America's man.
be the next JFK winner because I'm a clean cut, all American type of guy who has a modeling and acting career. Plus my blonde hair, blue eyes, and hard body is enough to put JFK Jr. to shame. I believe I should become the next heir to JFK Jr. because, like John John, I can truly treat a woman like a princess, be her knight in shining armor, and show her what Camelot is really like. John Kennedy Jr. I can become the new bachelor hunt because one, I have a great educational background. Two, I carry myself with a whole lot of class. And three, I think we have some of the similar tastes in women. All right. Okay. All right, wait, next we have Rod, Rod. I believe I'm the most qualified successor to JFK, not only because I'm tall, talented, and strikingly good looking, because I'm sensitive and really care about a woman's needs. All right, next we have John. I think being the next JFK, you not only have to have something on the outside, but you have to have something on the inside. And I think I have a lot of respect for women because I think we all are all created equal. And second is I would like to create a better education and support for our children because I think children are God's greatest gift. We can each pick one for ourselves. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask them backstage, but uh, I wouldn't see why not. I think we, we need some more one-on-one -on -one time. We need some one-on-one -on -one yes, time with them. Well, I think all the ladies in the audience need some one-on-one -on -one time with them. <laughs> Michelle, Tyler, and Eve have been hard at work. I've been sitting right here. Now, it's. are you guys ready to really heat things up around here? Yeah. While we take one last look at our competitors, there's a woman who hit the charts with her debut album, Miracle, and is here to perform all over your face. Please welcome Pop Johnson. Ooh, ooh. Woo! Oh, yeah. known each other for two years I'm starting to see you more frequently We started out as just good friends But it only lasts Where our relationship will be Is what we have strong enough Our friendship will last forever I know you really want me, boy. You gotta keep it real. Ooh, ooh. 
it instead of chill with youngest that I trust But it's nothing more than the friendship between us We don't trust, unlike these bros that I date Matter of fact, when you and me oh, yeah. you know that you can do what you knew I suppose I'm blind, look about the you bridge know, right up under the But before we announce our winner, winner, let's take a look at what our Supreme Hunk is about to win. Take a look at this clip. Today's winner will win a trip for two to beautiful Jamaica. Spend six nights and seven days in a lush garden of pure pleasure at the beautiful Hedonism 2. Whatever the reason, you deserve Hedonism 2 at least once in your life. All right. How exciting. Okay, you ready, gang? The second runner-up is... Jack! <laughs> We need, we need the drummer drumming. All right. Quincy! They like it. Okay. All right. The judges wanted to do an honorable mention, so we, we have an honorable mention. We don't have a present for the honorable mention, but we just want to... The honorable, okay, they're the, they're the prize for the honorable mention, and the, the honorable mention goes to Cappuccino! All right, the moment I've been waiting for, the winner of the hunkiest bachelor in America is... Our favorite drummer, David! member of our studio audience is about to become a winner of that very same trip. They're going to get a trip for two to Jamaica at the Hedonism 2-2. We're going to let our winner choose the winner. We have a bowl. Eric, Eddie, you're going to give the bowl to, to David. Pull out the, number, the name and see who won. All right. Who's the winner of that trip for two to Jamaica? Anita Hazard? Anita! Andia, Andia Woo, Hazard. Anita! You're blocking your pretty face. My sister, Anessa. Anessa, you won too then. Congratulations. How do you feel? Huh? You feel good. Thank you guys so much. I want to thank all of our hunky men for participating today. And a special thanks to our judges, Paula J. Parker, Michelle Facey, Tyler Collins, and Eve Sharon, and my backstage correspondent, Baywatch Night Star, Eddie Cibrian. Thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.